Now that we've learned how to create points and have a number of points to work with, we'll deal with building routes. One of the most frequently requested ways to build a route is from a list of existing points. We'll take a look at how to do that. Using my cursor, I select the point or waypoint that I want to serve as the start of my route. I'll push and hold my points and route button on the Navnet 3D keyboard to initiate the route from that waypoint. You'll see in our top menu bar that we have our green menu indication to build a route using the cursor pad, pressing the select key to enter points, and push the rota key to validate. So I simply use my mouse and select each subsequent waypoint with a left click of my mouse until I've finished building that route. Once the route is built, I push the roto key to validate the route, and I've created the route in full. Once the route is created, I can use a right click of the mouse to advance along the route from any waypoint or any leg of that route. Another easy way to build a route is either using our points and route button or a right click of the mouse to use temporary points for building a route. So we'll build sort of a mirror route with the route that we just created using existing points. On screen, I simply hover the cursor where I'd like to begin the route. I push and hold my points and route button on the Navnet 3D keyboard to create the first temporary point in that route. I then advance the mouse cursor and left click to create my next waypoint. Again, I have a menu indication at the top of the screen to build the route exactly the way that I did before. I left click, create any additional points until my route is complete. Note that the next point will be created in the direction that the cursor was traveling at the time of movement. Once my route is complete, I push my roto key to validate the route and I can begin navigating along that route. When we were working with points, we were able to access more information, edit and rename those points using a right click either from the Navnet 3D keyboard or from our external mouse. We'll be able to do the same thing with routes as well using right click features. So we'll take a look at those menus now. In order to access information or invoke any of the menus for a route, it's important to note that we're going to hover our cursor on the first or any leg of the route rather than a point. I'll use my cursor and hover over the route. And we'll see that the route pops and we're given actually a steering vector along that route. That is the order in which that route was created. We can navigate along that route as it was created or we can reverse. When I highlight the route, I right click. The options that are available to me are to activate that route, reverse along that route, insert a point, split the route into separate routes. I can get details or add details, rename the route, delete it, extend the route, or fly over. We'll deal with each of these menu items. When I right click, my first option in the right click menu is to activate the route. When I left click, I'm given immediately a steering vector from my own vessel position, and we see the Navnet 3D plotter scale the screen appropriate to the route in view. That will steer me along that route. We also see the route change color from the color that was originally selected to a red. This indicates that this is the active route. If I wish to deactivate that route, I simply hover over any leg of the route, right click, and cancel the route. Now note that canceling a route does not delete the route. It simply means that that is no longer the active route. Our next right click menu is to reverse along that route. Reversing that route, you'll see changes the direction of the arrows of that route so that I'm navigating in the reverse order in which that route was created. My third menu option is to insert a point. This is done to insert a point along any single leg of the route. I right click 
and I'm immediately again given a rubber band with a cursor to show where my new two legs will be. I'm given an on-screen indication indicating that I can insert the waypoint and push the rotor key to validate. I left click my mouse and I've created now another temporary point that has split the one leg into two along that route. Our next right click menu is to split a route. Splitting a route effectively does exactly that. It splits the route in two and removes the leg between the two waypoints that I've selected. Once routes are created, we can find out the details of that route, again, simply by right-clicking on any leg of the route. I hover my mouse over any leg. We'll see that the route highlights or pops. We right-click, and then we left-click on our menu item of details. The details screen brings us to our routes menu. In our routes menu, we have the route identified, we see the total length of that route, and the number of points in that route. Once we're in these menus, we can also use these menu functions to alter or delete or edit these routes as we wish. Our next right click feature deals with renaming a route. And renaming a route is virtually identical to the way that we renamed points. I hover over any leg of the route and I select rename. The alphanumeric default is selected, in this case, Route 1. I can use my roto key, my USB wheel mouse, or I can use my QWERTY keyboard to enter any name that I wish. Continuing with our right-click menus, when I hover and right-click, after rename, I have delete. This is fairly self-evident. This deletes the route in entirety. Note that if I've built a route using existing points, that I don't delete those points, I only delete the route. Our next right-click menu is to extend the route. What this will do is it will add additional route points, starting with the last point selected in that route in the order of creation. So starting from my final point, I will simply create additional points and advance that route. It's important to note that if we extend a route that was created using existing points, that the new points are temporary points. If you wish to create a permanent route using permanent points, it's important to go back, create new points at the same place as those temporary points, and extend your route. Until now, we've dealt primarily working with points and routes on screen graphically using either the Navnet 3D keyboard or an external mouse or an external keyboard. It's important to note that we can access virtually everything we need to do with both points and routes using our roto key. If I grab my roto key and either push it or advance it, turning it either direction, I access my menus. It's important to note that the standard roto key setting is the default, so you may not have all menu items available. If I grab my roto key and push and hold, I can access all roto key features at any time. In my points menu on the roto key, I can access my alphabetical list, my local list. The final menu in the points menu is to show or hide those points. Simply by pushing and engaging or disengaging show, I can show or hide all points on the screen of Navnet. In my routes roto key menu, I can create a new route access my route list, reset navigation, which is restarting along the route. I can skip a waypoint along any given route, cancel navigation without deleting the route, reverse that route, or like the points, I can show or hide all routes selected on screen. By showing or hiding any of my points or routes, I can create a cleaner screen presentation, noting that my active route will always appear on screen. One of the important distinctions between Navnet 3D and our VX2 plotters, previous plotters, and many other manufacturers' plotters is that we can create points and routes on screen with our own vessel in view, so we never lose situational awareness on the plotter screen. In our previous models, and with many other models of plotter, it's necessary to delve into menus and build routes or build waypoints from lists. So we don't have our vessel in view, we don't have access to our plotter and navigation and radar information. Navnet 3D solves all that. We can do all of our point and all of our route navigation 
on screen with vessel in view, retaining our own awareness of our surroundings on the boat at any given time. In conclusion, we'd like to thank you for joining us for our Navnet 3D Points and Routes presentation. We hope that you'll agree that Navnet 3D offers some really powerful tools for navigating using points, waypoints, routes, and any combination thereof. Navnet 3D is a very customizable platform using either the keyboard from the black box as you've seen today, or our MFD8 or MFD12 8.4 inch and 12 inch plotters. In addition, we've created a very customizable tool using off the shelf items such as a USB mouse, a 10 key, or a full QWERTY keypad. We hope you enjoy Navnet 3D. Thanks for joining us.